Hi, it's Sue. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you're a regular, it's good to see you here. Anybody who's new here, well, I'm thrilled that you've dropped by. Today, I'm just playing and I thought I would turn the camera on and this could well be my um, project for today, which is day 35 in my everyday journal. I'm um, taking part in the 100 day challenge. So um, you can see I've got the envelope punch board on my desk and I've actually started, but I'll explain what I'm doing. I wanted to make an envelope that would fit on my page. So I've punched a piece that is four by five. It required a piece of paper, seven and a half inches square, which I cut from a piece of um, tea stained paper, lightly tea stained paper, because I'm going to add more inking to this. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, my first cut was at, at three and three eighths, I think it was. Three and three eighths, was it? Hang on. Where did I start? I started there. Yeah, three and three eighths. So it's punch, score. Turn it this way. Match up the score line, previous score line, to this point here. Punch and score again. And you do that all the way around. So that's where we're up to. There's all the little bits it's punched out. Get rid of those. Okay. Now, I think I want this, this piece to be the inside. So I'm just going to um, fold on those score lines, just to start with. Just I just want to double check that this will in fact fit reasonably well. Okay, so it actually makes an envelope that is uh, four and a quarter, so I might have a problem there. Let's have a look. Um, no, that should be fine. All right, so this is the page that it fits on, okay? So what I want to do now is open this up front side facing, like so, and I'm going to do some inking. Okay. And I'm using um, dried marigold, distress ink, and I've got a piece of plastic, it's a um, page protector. And what I'm going to do is Stamp some of that colour onto the page and spritz it with some water. Okay. Blend it through, just use my finger to blend that through. And what I'm going to do is just Add some of that colour to my envelope. Okay, that's better. I'm going to get this quite wet, this paper. Yeah. Just to move that colour around a bit. We'll sponge the excess off. Okay, let's wipe this up. Now I'm going to go ahead and dry this. Okay, so I've finished inking it, inking the paper. It looks a real splodgy mess at the moment. And what I've done is I've folded this up a little bit higher 
so as it easily fits on my page without having to worry about the, um, the binding. Now, I'm going to cut this piece off because that's too big and I don't like it overlapping. So I'll just mark that there. The, these were the other colours that I um, used. Wild Honey and Frayed Burlap. Okay. So now we'll trim this off. And this one I want to corner round. And the punch board has a corner rounder here, so that's perfect. There we go. Done. Okay. Now, before I fold and um, glue it up or whatever I'm going to do, I want to stamp. And I want to use this stamp here from um, Flourishes. And it's this one, it, it's a floral stamp. Okay, I don't know whether you can see from here, it's just like a spray of blooms. And I'm going to um, use, what am I going to use? Archival black ink, I think, because this paper might still be a bit damp. Reasonably dry. I'll make sure it's all linked up, which that is now. And somewhere, where is it? There it is. I've got this foam board will just help a little bit. So just making sure there's ink on all of that. This is where um, a stamp press would be very useful. Sadly I don't have one. <laughs> Never mind. So what I'm thinking is keep your fingers crossed that this takes yeah not too bad could have been better okay but we'll settle with that shame. Um, now I want to stamp again and I want to stamp over here. Hmm, that's a bit disappointing. Okay, wasn't very happy with that side. So I've done it again on this side and not so great there, perfect there. I think it was just, I don't know, the layers maybe, don't know. Anyway, I'm going to put that to one side for a moment. I've got another piece here, let's try again and see what we can do with this one. So punch and score is my tool. I think I need to cut some tin foil in this. Okay, there we go. Now, let's fold. So 
this is the inside. This we need to fold up a bit further. Right, so I think I'm going to open this one out and try stamping that way. I actually like the idea of using this side. Let's see how that looks. Okay, so <laughs> this took some doing, let me tell you. It didn't turn out quite as I was thinking. But what I've done is I've used dried marigold over, what was the other one, scattered straw? No, wild honey. So I've got wild honey here and dried marigold. And these areas I painted with a paintbrush and then splattered. So I'm a bit happier with that. Um, my idea is that it fits on a page like this, opens up to a big journaling area. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is use some of this twine to keep it all closed. I was thinking ribbon, but I don't think I've got anything that is suitable. Um, and this, you know, is just ordinary copy paper, so um, you don't want anything too heavy. I've also done a bit of inking. I don't know whether I videoed that. Um, I might do a bit more around this edge. It's funny how you can start and look at something and think, oh, no, I don't like that at all. That's not how I envisage this. And you just keep going and eventually you get something you think, oh yeah, yeah, that's fair enough, I can work with that. <laughs> well, I do. Um, yes, so that will do. Now, I wondered about adding some washi. 
And I'm just looking at what I've got. They're a bit pinks. I was wondering about this. That could be quite nice. Or is it, let's have a look at the page. Oopsie. So it's going on this page. Which way will I open it? Probably open it that way, I think. So it's going on that page. Um, what do we think? So look what's in here. We keep it neutral. I'd add grey, but it's a bit white. Ooh, what about that one? Let's have a look. See, I always quite like the neutrals, but that might be a bit too bland. That could be nice. We can only add bits because we don't want to seal this. So let's have a look. Let's just have a short piece. And the same here, we'll tuck this around. We maybe put a piece down here. How's that? Okay. Stop playing. Let's get some of this. Where's the end? There it is. Right, need to punch a hole. Crop it down. We want to double it. Wind's getting up outside. It's um, it rained most of the night. We've had quite a lot of rain again. Now the wind's up, sun's out. So hopefully, it will start to dry things up. So the fields are very wet. Okay, we'll just rethink that. And what I've done is I've made one side quite a bit longer than the other. So um, the long side we'll wrap round. It's not the long side. That's the long side. Sort them out. Like this. definitely too much there. What do you think? Um, this other one, I'm going to play around with that a little bit more and see what we can do with that one. Um, let's just alter this a bit. will do. And then that will glue on the page like that. No other way around, like that. Okay, now I'm just going to play with this one and see what I can do. So um, bear with me.
Okay, so that's dry now. And I've added um, some whole reinforcers. Now I'm going to punch. I'm going to add one of these cards. These are one of the ones I made the night I couldn't sleep. <laughs> so I um, played with cards. <coughs> and I, I think it should probably go that way. But it actually kind of looks better with that darker image over there. Yeah, do you see what I mean? The stamping underneath perhaps shows up a bit much. Don't know. Oh, well, maybe I'd get away with that. Okay, out glitter glue. And again, I'm just going to lightly add some glue to this um, vellum image. That's interesting, which is the right way. I think actually that's the right way. Oh, good. <laughs> that works in my favour. Oops. Concentrate. There we go. So that's her card with journaling space on the back. And I'm not going to seal this envelope because it, you know, I mean, you could, if you wanted, journal over that splodgy page. So there we go, there's the second one. Which one do you prefer? I think I prefer this one. And I think I prefer it because it's on lighter, a lighter tea stain page. Let's bring the book in. I think this one will go on my page. Uh, does it go with that? Mm. Let's swap the ribbon. Right. Untangle these. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, I think that's the one and I think I'll make it that twine. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna glue that to the page and I'll show you a picture when it's finalized. Um, thanks so much for joining me today. I um, hope you enjoyed this rather chaotic <laughs> make. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm probably going to do a bit more inking on this one, sponging around the edges. Um, but I'll, uh, I'll show you a picture when it's finished. Thanks again and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye now. 35. Day 35, done. Haven't sealed it, I've left it open. It's got the journal card inside and you could write it on the envelope itself. Thanks again, see ya, bye.